Welcome to our second tutorial of uh, this particular topic, database. In the previous tutorial, we ended by creating a table, assigning the data types, and adding the records. Now, in this particular tutorial, we are going to look at one more uh, new thing, and that is the field formats. Like our question is here, we are going to look at how to format the fields so that the data appears the way it is appearing right here and the other one thing we are going to look at is how to set uh, auto number as a data type for a particular field now just to remind us we only use auto numbers in a field as a data type when the data therein is consecutively increasing for example here we have MGM001 and the numbers are increasing consecutively up to eight so that means we can actually save that field or we can give we can assign it uh, auto number as a data type and when you look at our date here it has a particular format with which it's appearing and therefore it's upon us to also go and set our date to appear the way it is here now let's go to our table we already know how to create a table and other fields now let's go and try to format these fields to appear or to contain the same data that is contained or in our table to appear the way they are appearing in the table so we start with the employee id and we said we want to assign this one here an auto number so we go and choose auto number but for you to save the auto number, remember this field here, after assigning it auto number, we won't be able to type in it. It will, database will have to auto increment it as we continue typing in the other fields. So to set its format to appear the way it's appearing the other side, we have the four characters that are appearing consistently. That is MGM and then the stroke. So for us to also keep them consistent here, we create the double quotes, type them in MGM, and then the stroke. We know those are our characters that are going to appear consistently without changing. Then we close the quotes, and then for the three last characters, that is 001 to 008, we simply add three zeros. Each zero is representing one place value. That is how we set the auto numbers for that particular field then we go to date of birth when we look at our date of birth its format is in day month and time but uh, the month is appearing as digits and not words so we also go and set the format for the date so our date is appearing as day being represented by two digits a dash then month represented by two digits so we put mm the mm represents the two digits if we put three m's then the month is going to appear with the first three letters of the month if we put four m's then it's going to appear with the whole uh, name of the month for example the whole word january and then the year is represented by four characters so we put y y y y to represent the four place values for the date so we go after setting that, we are done with setting the format for the date and also setting the auto numbers. So we go and view our table. And then we try, if now you come back to the table here, you will see that where there is employee ID, there is now no chance for you to add the field or to type in what is supposed to be there. But database will do it itself. So for our first uh, record in the table, we have still davis lutakome 15th of november 1980 mawito so we come and type in we come and type in for our davis in our database so we have davis as the first record and the moment you type in you can see mgm has appeared uh, the second name is lutakome date of birth is 15th of November 
and the residence is Mawito. So you can really see that uh, here MGM has typed in itself and here the date of birth is now having the real format that we have in our table. So we go on to type in all the records and fill up our table. So there our question is, our table has been created with all the fields added in it. The records have also been added and with appropriate formats and the data types are also correct. So our major emphasis in this uh, particular tutorial today, we had uh, setting the formats, setting the formats for the different fields and setting the format for auto numbers. So that's what we have done and I'm sure we have achieved our goal for today. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial and let's wait for the next tutorial.